Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Isaac. We got a pretty interesting start here as Eden. We have Red Key, which is good. Decent. But this right here, the Trinket, is the real star of the show for this one. When given a choice between items, you may take them all. Which means Alt Path is going to be very much the way to go here. And yeah, just starting with Red Key, an interesting prospect. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. I don't like them guys that... Please fly. Don't screw me. No red rooms available thus far. But yeah, red key as everyone knows. Pretty fun item. We had a pretty interesting run with uh, with red rooms recently, actually. We had an item that let you bomb into red rooms, which I found pretty interesting. It was uh, kind of a cool cool idea, and it, it, it made for an interesting... Oh, I'm so fucked here, yep. Yeah. made for an interesting economy of bombs. They were, they were way more precious than normal, which was, yeah, pretty interesting. Oh, the clicker. How very nice. How very nice of it to give us the clicker. We've actually got really, really bad stats to start here. So I'm a little apprehensive of our ability to succeed straight away because of that. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Hopefully we can find a few red rooms here and there. It's a little, little offensive to get the clicker off the bat. But I guess this, this run is promising... Um, jewels from far off lands, and by that I mean multiple item room items, so I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt for now. But I'm a little peeved. And yeah, red room finding isn't exactly my strong suit, so forgive me. We've got okay damage at least, but our fire rate's pretty shoddy. It's like Samson fire rate, this isn't it? Just around, maybe a little bit lower. Half red heart there. Yeah, I'm pretty bad at finding red rooms, but they're, they're normally off of special rooms. I know that, so it's probably not either of these two. So let's go back and have a little look-see. We can also probably find a secret room off of the back of this, so this is probably second secret room. Um, which is pretty nice to see. The easy way or the fun way? I don't really know what that means. Does that mean... Is the fun way that I bomb this and then do that? I got, what the hell, that was an amazing chest. What the hell was that? <laughs> My goodness. Right, let's bomb some stuff. There's gonna be a little bit of a min-maxi first floor. As for the question of the day today, what's what's a location that you haven't been to that you wanna go to? Even if it's somewhere close. It doesn't have to be a holiday. But I'd be interested to know. So this is the cellar, and, uh, burning basement, sorry. So we, we haven't got the best roster of like rocks and stuff to go out here, but we'll do what we can. There's the secret room for us. Um, we shall open that. Crack both of those. Um, I'm gonna go down from here because I'm wasting rooms at this point. Honestly, I probably won't find it on the first floor because as I said, I'm not very good with it. But, there you go. Miracles can happen. Miracles. Oh, that burn hit me. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Let's see what we get for our red room, though. Remember as well, if it's a choice of items, we get all of them. I don't think you get choices in here, really. But we do get the good old Ultra Flesh Kid, which I actually quite like. I think Ultra Flesh Kid can be pretty good. And we get some good money. Lovely stuff. We've actually got enough here to check out the shop. I like that. I like that. We'll bomb you. Yeah, Ultra Flesh Kid is just gonna dance around and do some do some boogieing, boogieing on down for us to see what he can do. Isn't gonna be a ton, but he will try his goddamn best. He will try his goddamn best. But a very red themed run, I think this is gonna be. Um, five bombs. Okay, now we can buy both. Let's grab that, and then I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna grab this just because I want the more bombs for the next floor. And we get a little construction hat. I mean, what's not to love? What's not to love? Right. Anyways. Let's... Oh, my God. Such a such a red-themed run. Beautiful. Flesh Kid. Got him. And we get... Oh. Oh, dude. This is kind of amazing. So we have uh, cat food, which we started with, which is a health up that grants uh, the ability for bosses to drop multiple uh, red hearts, which actually works really, really well with Ultra Flesh Kid. I didn't even think about that. Right, quickly just gonna blast through to blast these open. 
unfortunately nothing, but we are going alt path because we get both items because of our trinket. Um, one second, the developer replied to me about something for one of the mods, one sec. Right, let's keep this going. We get boiler here, which can be a little bit more difficult. Oh, dude, you gotta love it when you get the instant, the instant ultra secret room. What's better than this? Oh, dude, I really hate these enemies with the creep. But luckily we have our own creep. I wasn't talking about you being a creep. Oh, dude. It's, uh, it's getting interesting. We've got, we've got some growable boys. We've got some growable boys. To be fair, I have been thinking about doing a run. Someone suggested it, of just giving myself all the growable familiars of all the types. I'm sticking with that. Candy heart, yet another red item. Um, we got a red heart there that I missed as well. Oopsie. But yeah, Flesh Kid's going to get himself nice and grown up pretty quickly. The creep he's putting down, to be honest, so far has been pretty good. I like that. Okay. Let's keep her moving. And I'll pop into a random red room here, because why not? This one, because I think secret room's below us. That it is. Free secret room entry. No need for a bomb. It's worthwhile. I like the noise he makes when he spawns stuff. A little... Like it's... It sounds kind of techy, but... It's interesting. Oh, dude, he's running away from me in a way that I really don't like. <laughs> there you go. We finally got him. We finally got him. Okay. Secret room. Bunch of pills. Do I really want to take a bunch of pills? I don't think so. I will bomb this, though, and see if we get anything nice out of him. Sadly. Sadly not. Doesn't matter, we forge forward. So I'm a little less worried about my stats now that I have for Flesh Kid. It's, he is one of those familiars, though, like with many in Isaac, that just has a really hard time targeting. He just doesn't really know how to actually target an enemy, which can be really frustrating. He also can't fly, which is a, a major concern. As if he can't fly. But like here... He should be going straight for that enemy, and he just, he needs him to get very, very close before he starts targeting him. I, and I, I don't know if it's something that could ever be fixed with mods, but it's something that one day, I, I just pray. It's so frustrating that you have a familiar, and it just won't latch onto the enemy that's right in front of it, just because it's like a hair too far. Oh, dude, what is, what is going on here? We like that. That was a lot of money. Back up to 15 cent again. The shop is viable. We've got plenty of keys to work with too here, so good stuff. Now, are we going to get much use out of Candied Heart? Probably not a ton until Flesh Kid starts to get a bit more grown up. But eventually we will. Eat the heart, boy. Eat the heart. You need to grow big and strong. Okay. Don't, don't you... Yeah, I was just about to say, don't you be doing exactly that, but... These guys have a really annoying way of moving. <laughs> Come on, Flesh Kid. You can do it. You know what your target is. You know your you know your mission. See, when he does get on target, it's fine. The creep he plays down is 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 crazy good. Some good keys there. Probably should have uh, saved the charge key there, but oh well. Um trying to find another red room that I can pop open just in case it's something interesting. You see, like, the speed he starts chasing enemies at once he latches on is kind of wild. <laughs> he just mows them down. Okay, we've got another, another one here. Red room over this way? No, I guess I'll just do an extra room then. Ah, oh, really? An extra room with no red room capability. It's always a little sad to see. I think his creep lasts quite a while as well. That's another thing about our little our little friend here. Bit more money. Yeah, another area with no red rooms. Bit of a waste. I'll probably just keep my charge at this point then. I don't want to waste. Um. Yeah, I guess. Why not? And then I, I I might as well do this and then buy a charge and just just see. Wasn't really worth it, but there you go. You never know what you're going to get until you try. Death card, I'll just pop on the boss probably. Okay. Let's keep moving on. Hopefully we can find more red rooms. 
But yes, this alt path is going to be very, very saucy for us. We need to keep some bombs to make sure we can get to the uh, the mines as well, of course. But yeah, we're going to do some good damage here. I'll probably go into this room above as well, because, I mean, why not? Uh, one second. Okay, let's check out what's going on in this room. Probably not a whole hell of a lot, but I'm just thinking uh, our little... It'll, it'll, like, push forward our box into dropping another thing sooner. The box can actually be really, really good. Right. Pop death, which won't do a hell, hell of a lot. In fact, 40 damage is just completely nothing. Can we latch on, fella? See what I mean? Like, well, now he's latched on. My goodness. He is demolishing. But it took him a little bit to, to decide that he wanted to do that. Yeah, there you go. We're level two, and we got a damage up here. Very nice. We've got quite a lot of red health, so I'll at least peek into here. Um, and I'm kind of glad that I did, because it wasn't any devil deals anyways. But it was a bunch of trash. <laughs> okay. Away we go. But yeah, at least we got our flesh kid leveled up. Um, I, I can't remember if level two's, ha like, how good level two is. But I guess we'll figure it out. Um, I'm going to see if this is a secret room here. It's not. Just because it wasn't a red room. I thought it might be secret room. We've got a red room here. Gives us into the boss trap room for free. So might as well open it even if it's not the ultra. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's pretty good at this level. Extra key there. We're getting tons of keys. There, you, It's the ultra anyways. We are doing very well on finding the ultra so far. It's what you like to see, baby. That's what you like to see. I'm going to go in here first, just in case it shuts afterwards. I don't think it does, but I'm going to do it anyways. Right. My flesh kid should do a fine and dandy job of taking out this boss. I don't think he'll do a very good job of taking out these ghosts, though, as you can clearly see. But once we get him, yeah, on target here, he'll do his thing. Just don't, ah, uh, don't jigger me. He jiggered me. He's not brimstoned, though, which is something. Well, that's a good trinket. Unfortunately, as I've said before, we've actually got a really good trinket already, so we won't be taking that. But it is a very, very good trinket, that. Preventing uh, curses is quite nice. Oh, dude, how do you unlatch? <laughs> Flesh kid, get on him. There you go. He unlatched somehow. I don't really know how that happened. Oh, another good trinket. Wow, we are getting a lot of good trinkets here. I'll pop that open as well. Bird's eye. Very, very nice. And some devil discs as well. Don't mind if I do. Devil disc. Don't mind if I do. Something extra. We're firing nails out now. We've got death's list on someone. Is that is that death's list? Apparently, but I don't seem to be able to kill that enemy, so it didn't really work out for us. Dude, what's going on with the trinkets? There's just trinkets everywhere right now. It's like three in two rooms. It's not normal. Okay. And another trinket. What the hell is going on here? Yeah, this death list thing isn't, isn't really working for me right now. Um, item room, we can just go straight in, right? And we get ourselves a guppy item, which is decent. And we get ourselves activated charcoal. Ah, oh, it's an active item, unfortunately. Activated charcoal. It gives you Ipecac for the room. It's pretty good, but obviously we don't we don't need it right now. It isn't the best for us. Keep it moving. We are going to go mines. We'll, we'll probably just do a mother run at this point. Um, we'll go do our boss first. Though. But yeah, probably just do a mother run at this point, considering we're going down this path. It makes it makes more sense, right? But I think we've got a reasonably good run built up here. Reasonably good. I definitely could do with a little bit more fire rate. Um, but otherwise, so far, it's decent. I like the fact that we've got bird's eye in the mix. And some luck. Not a lot of luck, but some luck. Oh, really? There you go. Took a bit of killing. Yeah. When when Flesh Kid's inbound, then then our damage feels up to scratch. But otherwise, it, it, it just feels like it's lacking a little bit. Ooh, Flesh Kid. It's time for you to, to, to hunger, to eat. 
Also, killing uh, additional bosses here will mean getting additional cat food procs uh, if we do the mirror room, so it's very worthwhile. Uh, excuse me? The hell just hit me? I, I actually have no idea what hit me there. There's an enemy in here. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, there you go. Flesh Kid's on him. Good thing is, as well, Flesh Kid, when he fires out those shots, they all hit him at once. There you go, and there's all the hearts for you as well, my hungry, hungry child. And I don't really know what you're doing. You don't seem that interested in me. We did get an angel deal here. We've all eaten everything up. Stigmata. It's fine. It's not the angel deal I'm looking for. It is It is somewhat red. It is somewhat red. It sticks on the theme, but it's not exactly what I was looking for. I'll crack that open. Right, let's quickly go and do our uh, other room here. Quickly speed along. One second. Okay, let's head into the mirror room. And we'll make our way to the next room. Right, we are back. Sorry about that. I had a lot of up and down distractions there. But we are back and on a roll and immediately about to die. This is kind of a kind of a tough room right here. Yeah, I, I don't I don't I don't like this. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, that was Oh, dude. This game is is fooling with me right now. It's giving me such good trinkets. What is going on? I have a good trinket. That's the whole purpose of this run. It's the whole goddamn thing. And it's like, here, take a little look-see. Technically, I should open up a red room here just because otherwise it's kind of a waste of charges. So let's see what's in here. Just in case it was a devil deal or an angel deal or something. Or just a chest with a pretty good amount of money. That on its own is pretty decent to me. Pretty decent. Another good thing about going angel deals here is now we can take all the angel deals too, which is pretty gnarly. Um, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping at some point we get an angel deal that actually makes that plausible. But we, we never know if we will. We never know if we will. I don't like the enemies that fire a bunch of tears into the air. They, uh, they scare me as this guy. They, they worry me heavily. I don't think, I don't think red rooming into the uh, ultra secret room on the on the thingy path it does anything does it i'm gonna just say it doesn't and hope that i don't embarrass myself but we'll see if it doesn't and i've embarrassed myself then you're, you feel free to publicly shame me right we got our boy on him and he is Dunzo. And we did get hearts, although a lot of them, unfortunately, were uh, thingy hearts. Oh, apparently he's not picking these hearts up. Is he Is he fully leveled? I don't think he is. Oh, there you go. He's got to wait until the fight's over. Hey, now he's fully leveled, I'm pretty sure. And we got another red item. It's time for meat, baby. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's max level now. So we should try and start playing into Candied Heart if, pa if plausible. That would be good. Um, mirror room is back here. Okay, good, good, good. Well, good to go. We have opened up our thingy room already. Yeah, I can't remember what he does at max level. I think he throws his head, doesn't he? His body turns into like a little gusher and he throws his head around. Um, now we've been through here as well. Let's uh, let's crack this to get more reflected items because why not? I always forget to do that, and it's a pretty it's a pretty good thing to do to be honest. Um, reflected items can be very, very good, especially if they're items that stack well. Um, so I'm very down for it. And reflected, uh, like, cards and pills and keys and all that sort of stuff, also potentially nice too, so really don't mind. Let's go to the next floor, head, head over to, to the little old mines, and see if our flesh kid here can do some amazing stuff for us. We did get a red rune. Um, pedestals into red locusts. We'll see if we can do much with that. Uh, but this, the, the red theming here is, uh, is quite insane. Um, I'm probably going to have to do something with that in the thumbnail, but I'm not quite sure what. Yeah, there you go. So he throws his little head look. And his little head kind of just bounces around the room, laying a very thick layer of creep. Another trinket. The trinkets. They're insane. Now, can we get... 
A third in a row for instant, instant ultra secret room. Can it be done? I don't know. Is this, is this version as good? Because the other one just, like, the other one's chased down. This guy doesn't seem to chase. He seems to bimble around randomly. Also, this guy is taking a lot of hits. Wow. Uh, I don't believe Red Room can be off of this, but um, I am going to open these up regardless. Don't know why I'm moving this over here. There's no need. Oh, actually, it kind of it saved me a bomb, so... Another good trinket here. He is, he is doing some good stuff still, even though he's uh, not really aiming anymore. But he's, he's just laying down a ton of creep, so... Oh, no, the body still goes for enemies. It just, again, has problems latching. He's like a newborn child. Problems latching. Except we're not breastfeeding it, and I think if we did, that'd be odd. Would you like Isaac, your young child, your infant child, to breastfeed what we call the flesh kid? Seems morally... Wrong. <laughs> oh, dude, where's all the red rooms at? Wasting charges over here. Oh, man, this is getting ridiculous. I'm just wasting so many charges. Now, that's a lot of moolah. Um, yeah, yeah, again, no red rooms. Farting baby plus Bumbo, another evolving boy. And I'm actually kind of annoyed that I just picked up all that money there because that would have got into second level instantly, pretty much. Is there a red room here? Yes, there is. I'm going to quickly open that before we complete this room. Just to make sure not to waste these charges as well. But we're probably not going to find the ultra secret room here because this game has been a bit of a bit of a meanie burbini to us thus far. Flesh Kid's having a, a hard time discerning what he wants to do here. Damn it. I was really hoping this would just be the right room, but it's not. We are down to red health now, which I'd really like to keep my angel deal chance alive, so... I'd very much like to get out of only being on red health, please. Yeah, bugger. I knew I was going to get hit there. I could just see it coming. We only had like 12% chance this floor anyways, 16% chance, whatever it was, so not too bad. This probably won't be it either. Uh, this is not not it, not anything. Okay. Oh, damn. I'm a, I'm a bit sad. Ultra secret room might have eluded me this time around. And he's going to do his... Fire thrower thing. Yeah, how do you even avoid that? Gotta stand behind this, otherwise you are dead. Damn, I am getting hit a lot right now. But we do have candy, um, candy heart, so it's not uh, not completely awful. Nine volt, very very nice. We'll take that. We'll take that. Crack that bad boy. Nine volt is very, very nice. That gives us so many more chances on future floors. I mean, a few more chances on this floor as well, but that's error room right there, isn't it? Oh, wait, no, is it? I'm going to leave it for now just in case. It seems like it could be error room. If it seems like it could be, then it might be, so. Yeah, boy. Flushka's having a whale of a time. Oh, dude, I keep setting these enemies on fire. These On this floor, I don't want to be setting the enemies on fire. It makes them so much more aggressive. Um, okay. Where now? Could go, like, off of the side of here. Damn it. Not very good at this. Ow. Let's keep the soul heart alive for the next floor, please. Flesh Kid doesn't want anything to do with the red hearts anymore, sadly. He don't give a damn. He don't give a damn about nothing. Ah, fuck okay. yeah. Well, there's that gone. Come back over here real quick. Could be off of this room. Could be off of this room. Oh, hello. 
Wasn't expecting you, Mr. Scorpion. Interesting room right here. That's actually kind of good. Um, it moves these chests a little closer to safety. Oh, dude. My red chests this run have been abysmal. Oh, abysmal. This is kind of evil. Wow. Didn't move it at all. I'll do another just... Oh, the red chests. The red chests have been so bad. Do you know what? We've got red hearts on the floor. I'm just doing it. See, this is why. Why, why did I pick them up, though? This other one I'm going to have to bomb, because now I have a soul heart that I'd like to keep. Okay. We got some... Some victory towards the end there. God damn. Huh. Did you get Black Doll, though? Black Doll's pretty decent. Right. Red room. We've got one more shot at this floor. I really don't know. I really don't know. I'm gonna guess either off of the challenge room or off of this room somewhere. Would it be up off of this room? Probably. Let's let's check it up off of this room. Damn it. Yeah, I just don't. I, like, I honestly just don't know how to figure it out at all. It's all it's all luck otherwise for me because I just I just don't know. <laughs> I just don't. Anyone that does know is a wizard. I know that there is like a, a very defined easy way of figuring it out. I ain't got time to learn that. Leave me be. <laughs> I ain't gonna figure that out for myself. I'm not gonna spend time on that. So tough titties. I know that one one of you commented in a previous episode that, that you were really frustrated that I didn't find a red room, but. You're going to have to be frustrated all over again, my ladders. Because I ain't going to be finding them. Not all of them, at least. Okay, we've got Epic Act Boy right now, which is slightly sad. Where's our last ghosty? There he is. There he be. Okay, is this green creep going to go away, or is it just here forever now? Okay, it is slowly fading. Would like some more damage game. Our damage still isn't great. Also, if we could level Bumbo up as well, that'd be quite lovely. Okay. Ah! My goodness. My goodness. I just don't have enough damage. Like my my my, my DPS, like fight, my damage mixed with my fire rate, just isn't anywhere near enough for the floor that I'm on right now. Having a really really hard time killing stuff if it's like a sort of one v one. That's very good though. I like that. Okay, we're gonna keep going down because unfortunately we don't have any charges to gain here, which is a shame. An ultra secret room missed. Right, we're going to try and keep our Angel Deal alive on this floor, but we'll see if that happens. I'll pop in here real quick. Unexpected. Unfortunately, not getting the uh, not getting the stuff we want here, but the Glass Idol is decent, and we'll bomb both of these sections over here for a Soul Heart, which we'll guaranteed get. Yes! You just gotta say it. You gotta will it into existence. Unfortunately, I am in this room though, so that's not ideal. Yet again, no red room to be seen. Yeah, glass idol, decent. We got a good amount of fire rate right now, at least because of that water bottle. Wow, you didn't kill him. I'm disappointed. Extra battery, that's just good to have. I want to be opening red rooms like all the goddamn time. Yeah, I'm so glad we got 9 volt. You very rarely end up getting like 9 volt on a on a run with red key. I don't always get so lucky. Hey, we got into the boss trap room. A little freebie there for us. 
And we just get some damage up. Okay, I've been. Uh, this is the sort of stuff I've been asking for, so very happy to see it. Oh, and that was a very, very good bomb thrower right there. Wow. Ah, it's Bumba. I got lemon juice as well. Okay. That went well. That went rather, rather well. Yeah, we've now actually got pretty decent damage and fire rate. Obviously, our fire rate is better this floor because of the water bottle, but it's something. Ah! That enemy duplicated on me. 3% chance to shoot poison tears. The trinket game is like it's crazy. There's just so many. <sighs> Chasm's pretty good, unfortunately. It is an active item, though. Do we get Keeper's Fly on top of that, though? Um, dude, what, what's going on with, like... Ugh, the room layers are so bad. They're just not giving us any rooms that, like, allow us to access red rooms. It's all these rooms that are just like, here's a door, here's another door. Both, both walls are blocked. Screw you. Screw you and your like, red key. And he here as well. Nothing for us to gain. I don't think it can be off of the off of the side of a secret room, but I'm getting annoyed, so I'm just going to use it anyways. Game's just not giving me the opportunities I need, and then I lose my angel deal. Not that I needed it, because I just got an angel deal, but still, I'm annoyed by it regardless. Right. Come on, Ultra. I need you. You could give me something so beautiful, and you know it. You could make my life so happy. Just give me a, a red room to open, and open it into something good. Rather nice. Take that puzzle piece. But like this room here, like no red room availability in here either. We're just getting screwed. Or here. This is offensive to me and my people. My people being you guys, I guess? Are you my people? This is actually horrific. As a floor gen for red rooms. There's just no space anywhere for any red rooms. Dude, the trinkets! The trinkets! We get a hollow heart as well! It's wild! Now I'm just opening red rooms because I'm getting annoyed. No way! This actually was it! <laughs> okay. Okay, I feel better now. I feel much better. I wasn't expecting this to be it at all. Fettered heart? Not bad, not bad. Fettered Heart plus Black Doll is a decent combination. Okay. Bumbo, you can have coin. Hey, there you go. One off max level. He's getting there, the chunky bastard. He's getting there. Right. Have that coin as well, if you'd like. You're still a little ways off max rank, though, aren't you, my good lad? A little ways off. And to be fair, we're a little ways off being powerful enough for Mother. We have a lot of health, though. Take you a special deal where you must choose one out of two. <sighs> Let's give it a go. It could be it could be bad for us, but... Ooh... As much as I'm liking the cat food thing, we don't need the health anymore, so I think that for Death's Touch is a a pretty tight bargain right there. I like that. Piercing. Ooh, they have some big tiers as well. Uh, piercing plus damage, I think, pretty good for us right now. And I fire it, still looking good. Try and kill him to get the bombs, slash whatever else he'll give us. Lovely stuff. A little bit of speed, don't mind that. And we go to the mausoleum. Okay, we are good to go. And we're actually getting quite a lot out of, uh, what's his name here? 
um, Candy Heart. Like, not not the best stats. We could we could be getting more damage and fire rate, but we're getting other stats. It's, it's doing us a reasonable job. We got ourselves a claw game here. Oh, we got to be inside the ring, don't we? Okay. I I guess I'll play you. Why not? Okay, that's another active. We got all three of them. Not that we needed all three of them, but there you go. Um. Hats will drop more often. And then I guess I'll use Red Rune on these. Why not? We'll see if we get a good amount of Red Hearts and then we can use that machine. In fact, I'm going to play it down a little bit now so I've got some hearts to pick up. I have to run back. I'm not going to die, so... At least I don't think I am. Oh, Bumba, I'm sorry. Your sustenance. I did not mean to steal it from you. Another puzzle piece, lovely. Puzzle piece. Puzzle piece. Um, excuse me? What the hell just hit me? I genuinely have no idea. Dude, can you stop giving me range, please? What, what actually hit me then? Was it a locust or something? Where the hell did I get locusts from? Do you know, I might have to uninstall those mini Isaac hearts, because as good as they are, they they don't count as regular hearts, and it, it means that you, like, miss out on a bunch of different effects from hearts in, in, in various different scenarios. Like, they don't count as a candied heart, and my, my Ultra Flesh Kid wouldn't eat them. It creates issues for us. Yet again, no red rooms to be seen here at the moment. There's one. Hello, crow. Landeth your tushy. Hey. Oh, those enemies with piercing is a lot of fun to see. Okay, this is... Oh, no, there is an item in here. Good. Um. Ooh, wow. Okay, that could be good. Bumbo, I keep forgetting, I'm sorry. I will leave you. Okay, you are max rank now. I can have some of my own. But, booster shot, pretty good. Pretty good. Um, now, every enemy that our tier passes through will get a 1.5 times multiplier, which could stack up pretty crazily in certain situations. Like, imagine that enemy we just killed and how many it was passing through. Oh, dude. Once it passes through an enemy, it gets big. It gets real big. Wow. Well, this is interesting. Wasn't expecting it to make the tier size so insane. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. Wow. And we get uh, the brain. I can't even afford it anyways, but I don't think I wanted that either way. Just trying to find my way to the boss. Oh, dude, some enemies seem to, like, count as being passed through multiple times. Like this guy. And the tear just becomes the whole screen. I like it. It's funny. Oh, my God. What an interesting run we've created. It was starting... It was looking a little rocky in certain areas, but it's... It certainly uh, improved itself quite a bit. Item room. Please no actives. Please no actives. Hello, good sir. Effigy. Decent. And then is this good old little bum friend? Yeah, why not? He's part of the family. He's part of the family. Just keep him around. And there's just, just a crawl space for free. And now you're not part of the family. <laughs> Sorry, sucker. You're not part of the family. Okay. Ah! 
This guy's actually not too bad of a boss. It's a little bit daunting, but it's not too bad. Angel deal, perhaps? Ho ho, yes. Multiple deals, perhaps? Damn you, game. And it's an active. Adds a blended heart and gives filigree feather. Ooh. Well, I guess for now. Also, we have a lot and a lot and a lot of keys to work with here. There you go. We got something else out of it, at least. Puzzle piece. Bit of a shame. Oh, hello, lost soul. Don't mind if I do. Okay, not not a bad, not a bad room. Not a bad room. Right, we go down. And we get Gehenna. Oh, there were some eternal hearts there. Wouldn't be my first choice for things to get out of that, but thank you. Wow, that thing's got a lot of health. Thank you for a red heart. I love how many friends we've got growing big and strong here. E, effigy rooms. You don't get room rewards, but it instantly clears the room. For the most part, as you can see here. It didn't quite work for some reason, but most of the time it's going to instantly clear. Right, red rooms, red rooms, red rooms. Dude, the red rooms have been a little sad for us recently. Come on, red rooms. Oh, d the hell? I think the effigies deleted those by accident. I don't think they're meant to get deleted. They technically count as enemies, though, I guess. Oh, there's a red room that I missed. My bad. Not the one we're looking for, though. Under the bumber. Always with the bumbers. I'm a bit confused right now. I'm gonna guess there's some buttons behind these. Yeah. Ah, oh, the ghost got me. It's it's fine. Just just ignore him. Right, where's that item room at? Oh my god, the tier size is kind of distracting to be honest. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. Holy. Okie dokie. Yeah, I'm not getting too much opportunities. This, this whole run has been a bit of a bust when it comes to red rooms. I'm just really bad with the red key, I guess. We got reflected here, which is going to be double stem cells. Whoa! <laughs> we actually have a way to find our uh, our red room now, which is interesting. Cracked key does give you a chance to uh, find your red room on being hit. Unfortunately, it does require getting hit. We are going to be on full red hearts as well here, which actually for candy heart is not particularly a bad thing. So I don't mind that. Okay. Back we go. Not a big fan that I came into this room. We escaped with our life. This seems ultra secret roomy to me. Yes. I knew it. I could just feel it. We also got into here as well, which not even going to bother fighting. It's literally not worth it. Emperor card to skip the next floor is lovely. Quasar. Damn, yet another active item. We're getting a bit unlucky on the actives, to be honest. Honestly, Rainbow Worm, let's take, considering we're uh, no longer going to be in need of uh, the doubled items. This is again a two last item rooms. We could get an Angel deal, I suppose, but the likelihood of that happening isn't super high. Let's take the Rainbow Worm for now. Right, let's do our boss. Then we've got Emperor card straight away on the next floor. Yeah, I just thought Rainbow Worm would be a bit more funny. Oh my god, how many enemies is it passing through to be doing this? This is the, the, the size. It's wild coming down mods having issues. And we do need to give ourselves give. Oops, it's all caps. Give knife piece two. 
so we can get through here. Because the knife chase thing is just, nah. I'm not too interested in it. I've done it a million times before. I'd rather just give myself the thing. I do like to do a mother run every now and again. It can be pretty fun. It can be pretty glorious. Oh, my sh thing got shattered. Uh, that's not happened yet, has it? The first time. Honestly, with my with my like buddy like spewing out tears here, it's it's very hard to actually see what's an enemy's tear or what isn't. I'm just gonna trust the process of the. Ah, oh, I got hit right at the end. At least I kept my eternal heart alive. We are full red hearts, baby. Which you don't get very often in Isaac, to be honest. Especially not by accident. I've not really been trying. It just kind of happened. Oh, beautiful. Straight away, baby. Straight away. My, my ghost. My lost soul. Not meant for this world. And we get... Oh. Too many options. Damn, at least we get two extra items here. Or potential items. I didn't realise there was a chance it wouldn't be an item. That's that's a pretty good one. That's a pretty good one. Okay, very nice. Um, and we got these two. Okay, so removes Isaac's oldest item. That would be Ultra Flesh Kid. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. Spawns an item. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, not very good. I'd, I'd, I'd do that, but my Ultra Flesh Kid is just too precious to me. But we got Brimstone here. Wasn't expecting Brimstone. We've got it with good good charge rate here, too. Pretty decent charge rate. Now, I do wonder how the piercing aspect of this works now with booster shot. Because we were doing pretty crazy damage with the piercing. I don't know if that'll still be the case or not. I'm guessing it will be. The more it passes through, the more damage it does. I'm guessing that'll still, still occur. I'm not entirely sure. Good old brain when I'm doing its thing there. I'm going to gamble and say it's not through the big room, which is normally not the case, but sometimes Isaac can surprise. And today I'm gambling that it is going to be surprising. Oh, dude, there's a lot of black poops in here. Weird way of designing a room, but hey, her. I mean, so far it's looking decent. Ah, that was a good shot, my good lad. It was a good shot. No! I have been fooled. I have been fooled. How dare they? Right. Ah! Didn't want to touch that. Don't need an extra charge on this. I mean, red rooms, I can just kind of make and see what they are, but I don't really need at the moment. I should probably use them to try and shortcut, to be honest. It can be a pretty good way to shortcut through. Right. Well, on the home stretch here, though. Just a little boss and mom to be. Oh! What happened to our Emperor card? That's a good question. That's a good question. I think it's still in the Ultra Secret Room. I was like, I thought I had an Emperor card. I can use it on the next floor instead. I got too distracted by the prospect of red rooms. Here it is. There's my little Emperor card. Ultra Flesh Kid, I so do wish to decimate you and see what we get, but nothing can quite live up to your standards. So I know whatever I'll get, I'll be disappointed. It's futile to even try. Truly, truly futile. Oh, it's a sleepy little baby. I don't know what he gives, you know. Apparently nothing, because he's not accepting my money. Maybe if I bomb him, he'll wake up. No, he's just dead. <laughs> Fair enough. I tried. You gotta do this attack first, don't you? The attack that is very, very hard to successfully dodge, but I'm just that pro, baby. I'm just that pro. This guy's not too hard of a boss, to be fair, if you've got high damage. He's one of those bosses where the, the longer he's alive, the worse he gets, but he very rarely lasts too long, to be fair. Center and then last floor. We'll we'll do a red room if we see one, but otherwise we're skipping. We are skipping. Right there you go. We're ready to go. Isaac versus this bad bitch. Uh, Ultra flesh kid. I'm gonna need you on this guy's ass, please. If you could latch. Oh, dude, look at it. It gets so close, but it just can't be asked. Latch on. Oh, Ultra flesh kid, y'all. I love you, 
like my own child, but you f fuck me off so bad with the games that you play and the way you decide to play. And Bumbo's doing a better job than you are. He's throwing bombs and all sorts. Look at him go. Bumbo's having a right time of it. He's throwing bombs out like nobody's business. I'm taking quite a lot of damage. I've got to be a little more careful. I cannot to afford to be as careless as I'm currently being. This bird's eye going off a few times here and there. Oh no, my glass idol! I don't know how important that is to my run, but oh no. Ow, that actually hit me, god damn it. It's about halfway done. If Flesh Kid would, would do his job, it might. Oh, we've got a little pillow next to us now. Wait, wait, no. Is Flesh Kid there? I don't see him with us. He might be under there. He might be doing. Oh no, he's just respawned next to us. I went to get that soul heart and realised. I can't have soul hearts. That bomb just got pushed away, goddammit. Oh, dude, the bombs. Okay, there you go. That one actually hit. Good. There you go. We got him in the end. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. A little bit of a crazy one. Uh, got a bit weird towards the end there, but we managed it. Eh, Bumbo, stop trying to kill me. I need my victory. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.